Okay, uh, welcome to this very brief presentation uh, on how to open up Microsoft Excel data files in SPSS. Uh, so we typically will make our figures uh, or do some calculations of descriptive statistics in Microsoft Excel, but we're going to do all of our inferential statistical tests in SPSS. And now the first thing we have to do before we even up, open up SPSS is we need to check and make sure that the data in Excel is arranged in the correct way. So if I just flick here to my Excel data sheet, so this is different from the one that you've got, um, but what we have to make sure is that our variable names are arranged in the first row uh, here along the top of our Excel spreadsheet and then each uh, new variable is arranged in a separate column. And then what we need to have is to open up our data in SPSS is only the raw data values for each participant in our spreadsheet. Okay, so here we've got participant one, they're female, they're 28 years old, they're 1.64 meters tall, and they're 58.1 kilograms, and then they've got a BMI of 21.6. And then each participant after that is arranged below uh, in each of these rows. Uh, can't have any additional information above our raw data in the Excel file that we want to open. So we can't have any means or standard deviations calculated, we can't have any figures or anything like that. If we include all of that data in there, SPSS is going to get confused. So we only have the raw data values for each of the variables that we've measured in the Excel file that we're going to open. Uh, right, okay, so now before we open up SPSS, uh, we have to make sure that uh, Excel is closed because SPSS gets uh, a bit confused if you try and open up an Excel file in SPSS that is already open itself. So we'll just close that off and then we'll quit Microsoft Excel. Uh, and then we'll open up SPSS. Now, obviously, I'm using a Mac, so it'll be a slightly different location than uh, for your PCs. If you get stuck trying to find it, then uh, just ask one of the demonstrators. Uh, but we'll open up SPSS here. And uh, SPSS is a little bit temperamental, so the first time you open it, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's got a big program, so just be patient with that. We'll get there in the end. Here we go. Okay, so SPSS has come up with this menu here. And it's given us an option. So it's found a recent, recent Excel data file here that we can open. That's not the one we want. So we're just going to open another data file. So if we just double click there. And now when you open up that menu, you'll see that uh, you can obviously look for a different folders where your data is contained but the first thing we need to do is at the moment it's looking for SPSS statistics files so it's not going to find Excel files so we just need to come down here and we need to tick uh, Excel data on our drop down menu so that it finds those Excel data files uh, so then we go to our folder where our data is, so just save your Excel file on your desktop and then you can see here I've got uh, a file here called research methods test data which I'm going to open up uh, for this demonstration. So double click that and then we get this menu behind here so if we just move this on out of the way uh, you can choose which worksheet you want to open so we know that our my data, well I know sorry that my data is on sheet one so that's absolutely fine uh, and then you can just click OK. And now we can see that we've got a similar format of data uh, as in our Excel file, but now we have no uh, the participant. Uh, sorry, the variable names are not in their own row; they're integrated into the uh, SPSS data file. So if you didn't have your variable names in the first row, then it's going to get a little bit confused. So that's why we have to have the data arranged in a certain way in, in Microsoft Excel before we open up the data. Um, 
but that's your data set open up. Then we just need to go through now and check that the data is, or SPSS has picked up the correct characteristics of our data. So you'll see down here, we've got two different types of views. So we've got data view, and then we've got variable view. So we'll just flick across to this variable view just to check that the characteristics have, uh, have been picked up correctly. So we can check, and we can see that we want to look particularly at each variable. So here we've got the names of each of our variables. Uh, we want to make sure that the type of data that it's picked up is correct. So for interval and ratio scale variables, the quantitative variables, we want to make sure that they're numeric. For nominal uh, variables or ordinal variables, we want to make sure that they're string uh, type variables. So in this case, we've got uh, sex or gender uh, here. So that's a, a, nominal a nominal variable. So we need to make sure that's string. And then you can see over here, we've got the type of measurement. So uh, we've got nominal variables and then SPSS calls uh, interval or ratio variables as scale variables. So we can just check and make sure that each of these is correct. And if they're not, then you can just change it. But usually SPSS will pick that up for you. So we can just flip back across. Uh, and now we've got our data set uh, in SPSS ready to do the statistical analysis we want to do. Okay, that's the end of this video.